Chris is not paying attention. Playing a CS from Aguas Calientes. We are here this morning having a little cup of coffee. Actually, I'm having a flat white um, and it's delicious. Peruvian coffee is so, so good. Uh, we're right here at this adorable little coffee shop. Let me show you. We're getting ready to head out this morning, so we figured we would get a little coffee break before we leave. We're right here. And look. This is our train, by the way. will take us back to Ali and Tantambo um, and it's the 360 train it's really nice um, but this is where we are right now it's adorable we came here last night um, and our hotel where we were staying is down there so there's just a lot going on this morning um, but yeah we're getting ready to head out we got our bags packed we are about to head back to Ali and Tantambo and then make our way back Cusco. It's been a lovely adventure here in Aguas Calientes. <laughs> um, Machu Picchu was amazing, like life-changing experience. If you ever get a chance to come here, come do Machu Picchu. I mean, it is just breathtaking, beautiful. It's such a cool experience. So, um, definitely something that we'll remember for the rest of our lives. So, really glad we got to do this. Yeah. Well, oh, on the agenda for today, because my body is aching everywhere, I have a massage planned back at the hotel in Cusco, so I have a massage about 4.30 today, and I cannot wait. We're going to try to take it easy for the rest of the day, so I may not be vlogging as much today just because it'll be a travel day, and then I have the spa, um, but then this evening, we have um, reservations at a really, really cool spot in Cusco. Um, so I'm gonna try to film that, but um, I will check in with you later. Uh, Chris, you wanna say anything? <laughs> Adios. Adios, amigos. She's ornery. It's <laughs> so hot right now. I'm getting nauseous. We're on the bus and I feel like it's 90 degrees in here right now. She doesn't want to look at any of this. <laughs> we, okay, after we got off the train, there was a line of people in front of us to get on the buses. We hotel lift to the buses so that we could get on the front rows here because if not, no boy, no. I'd be so sick. But they need to turn on that air conditioning. Hey guys, we made it back to Cusco after a long day of travel back from Aguas Calientes. I am so tired. <laughs> Thank God I have a spa lined up in like an hour. That was a smart decision. I had called yesterday after Machu Picchu. I was like, I'm going to need a massage tomorrow. My whole body is achy. I'm just tired from traveling um, and kind of feeling sick a little bit because just the um, 
train ride and then you have the bus ride back to Cusco. Uh, there's some like narrow roads and you're in the bus for two hours or the van. Um, so if you get motion sick, um, you may want to take a little something to help you out. We didn't have much air condition in there and so that was making me a little sick um, and it's a little bit of a bumpy ride. I've been on worse. I've been on way worse um, bus rides before. This one was way better, but um, still, I just feel kind of yucky. But I just wanted to show you, JW Marriott here in Cusco is amazing. Like, if you get the chance to come, you've got to stay here. They have upgraded us to one of their suites. Because Chris is a platinum member, we got upgraded to a beautiful suite. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You come in, and this is what you see. This is awesome. You have a little seating area, TV. Um, you have your espresso bar area. They have our robes hung up. There's me, little um, sink, and all your toiletries and stuff over there. Um, your cabinets are over here um, what else then you come over here and we have another TV um, and this is really cool I need to ask him the guys coming back with our luggage if these are actual Inca ruins right here I want to ask him are these original um, oh and then this is our bed so super spacious I'll show you the bathroom when Chris gets out, but it's beautiful. So cozy. See ya. There's our luggage. This is our bathroom. So we got the tub and the walk-in shower. The shower is definitely larger than the one we had in our other room. Beautiful. So nice and so clean. Our little Inca suite, baby. Berba, what you think? Are you glad you're a platinum member? We actually meant that. They treat us so well here, don't they? They always do. They always do. They always do. Okay, so we're Let's back out. We're trying to get to a restaurant. I cannot wait to show you where we're going. It's super local. Look at all the lights. Um, anyways, I wish I got this on video. So we came out of our hotel and we've been looking for our friend Paulino ever since. He approached us two days ago for some artwork and we've liked his the best out of anyone and we passed him up that day like idiots. So <laughs> there's hundreds of men with their own like artwork approaching you throughout the day well Darwin just came to just came up to us wanting us to buy his paintings and Chris said no gracias but do you know Paulino <laughs> uh, we don't want your business but we're looking for Paulino <laughs> and he said no but Chris thinks that he knows him Paulino, we're really sorry that we didn't buy your paintings when you came to us the first time, but if you come to us the second time, we promise we will buy a painting from you. <laughs> sorry, Darwin. <laughs> Look at all the lights. This is our first time coming out at night. <laughs> you realize that? This is our first time. <laughs> it's really cool. We're at uh, Plaza de Arnes, um, headed to Hans. I saw it on TripAdvisor, and it's a local place. Um, people people rave about it on TripAdvisor, so I'm really pumped about trying this place. It's only got like four tables in there. I had called ahead yesterday, made reservations, because it said that on TripAdvisor that you could. So we'll see how well that goes. But um, yeah, it's just a local fair, and apparently he's like, amazing Hans the owner so I'm really excited to try this place 
We made it to Hunt. This is what it looks like inside. It's super tiny. Four tables. <laughs> Amazing. So charming. This is our menu, our table. We just ordered. We just put in our water and our drinks. So I'll show you what everything looks like when it comes out. But so far, we are loving it. Chris is sampling their craft beers. And look how adorable these little glasses are. <laughs> Anything mini I love. Oh my gosh, look how precious. <laughs> One. Look how cute. It's kind of impossible to, to give you. The so weather, the four types of beer. Okay, because of the colors, you're going to see or you're going to realize the little ones. Okay. Or easier to recognize. Okay, yep. The red and the brown. Okay. And this one is the field center and the IPA. Okay. Maybe you change your mind. All right, see. Perfect. Gracias. That's the IPA. Let's go. Try this Pilsner again. Pilsner. It's very smooth. Okay. Pilsner is very smooth. Red ale. It's different. You can definitely taste the cherry. <coughs> Next one. It's good. It's, they're all very smooth. What you gonna get? I just want to take these little things home with me. Okay, so we got nachos, guac, and croquettes. <laughs> Everything looks so good, y'all. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Yummy. And cheese, mozzarella cheese is in here. Like, look at that. <gasps> I'm digging in. <laughs> yes, 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 it's easy. Okay, so we got the chef's specialty. It's beef stir fry. Potatoes, rice, chicken, empanada. Very excited about this. This looks amazing. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm giving this place an A plus already. <laughs> I haven't even tried this that I love it so far. Our waitress is amazing, by the way. Hans was delicious. It was delicioso. We had the best time. We just talked to the owner. Was it the owner? I don't know. I'm not really sure if that was the owner. But it was delicious. And it was the best service. We're so happy we went there. And as far as pricing goes, our total bill was $34. So pretty cheap eats and it was delicious and we ordered several things so highly recommend Hans go to it if you're in Cusco so good do you love it yep <laughs> yep that's all you're gonna get from Chris tonight <laughs> yep back in the elevator head to our room head to our suite <laughs> and y'all we are exhausted it's eight o'clock we are not even in the mood to get to the bar. Over. That's when you know you're so tired. Um, but Hans was so yummy. Oh my gosh. I'm like putting my review on TripAdvisor right now. Um, 
We had a great night. I'm so glad we went there. And, oh, they did turn down service for us. And we got little chocolates on our bed. Chocolates. This bed is so comfortable. I cannot wait to get in, in it. Oh my gosh. Um, Cusco at night is a different place. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. It just kind of seemed a little sketchier. <sighs> okay, well guys, obviously, I, I look like a hot mess right now. I did not take a shower after my massage. <laughs> That's why my hair looks like this. I just put it up real quick before dinner. I have to give a shout out to Edith at the JW Marriott here in Cusco. Holy moly. She gave me a um, hot stone massage, full body, for an hour. Heaven. She was amazing. <sighs> I want to go back to her tomorrow. She was so, so good. Pressure was perfect. She was so nice. Um... It was perfect, perfect, perfect. So, massage was awesome. Definitely hit up the spa here. It's great. They're so nice. And, yeah. So, I'm about to turn in for the night. But we will have our last day, our last full day here in Cusco tomorrow. So, come back and see what we're up to for tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>